up. I've met many people, sometimes I'm impressed by people in the poorest countries, in the poorest countries, but their masajid are so full. Their masajid are so full. I visited West Africa and trust me, Salatul Fajr, as I was entering, trying to enter the masjid, it was packed, packed, full, completely. And I'm thinking to myself, Salatul Fajr, is there something happening? There was no talk or lecture, nothing. No one even knew that I was going to be there or anyone else was going to be there for that matter. But the brother with me told me, no, my brother, if you want to come into the masjid for Salatul Fajr, you will have to come here 20 minutes before the Adhan. And I looked at myself and I said, our countries where our life is slightly easier. In Salatul Fajr, there are three guys, four guys. And our life is so easy. We don't want it that we lose the Akhirah and those who didn't have the dunya actually get it. Don't let that happen. Don't be from among those who you had a luxurious life here. Everything was very good. You know, you had the beautiful houses, beautiful cars, beautiful jobs, beautiful food, beautiful everything, but you lost in the hereafter. And we don't want to be replaced by those who had nothing in this world. They had to walk five kilometers to get a bucket of dirty water to heat it up in order to be able to drink from it. And yet they earn the Akhirah. They will be the VIPs on the day of judgment and we lose out. We all want to be the VIPs. We should. And that's why I decided to talk about this. I'm so inspired by people that I've seen who give Salah so much of preference. They don't mind. One day we visited a country, very poor country in the southern part of Africa, in Malawi. And I recall we walked through some fields and there was a, motor vehicles could not go there, that particular place. And as we walk through, we see Sami Allah Liman Hamida. It was the time of Salatul Asr. And there was a large group of people who had actually come up from Ruku' and ready to go for sujood. Who were they? they? They were the friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A place and a time where no one would have known that they are Muslims. And these people are praying for Allah. They don't even have proper water. My brothers, my sisters with us, do you know you don't have to turn the tap on anymore for water to come out? You just have to put your hand there and it detects the hand and it drops down. That's the water. And we still don't do wudu and we still don't fulfill salah. And the other men and women back in the poorest countries have walked five kilometers to get the bucket in order to share it between 200 people to fulfill wudu and the salah. And we are still not ashamed of ourselves. They've done it. You follow what I'm saying? Surely we should be embarrassed. Give it importance. This is your salah. Don't miss it. And I promise you, your life will change. And if you may still have obstacles in your life, but I swear to you, Wallahi al-Azim, I promise you, by Allah, your hereafter will be guaranteed, inshallah, by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you're close to Allah with your salah, it will help you in your character, your conduct. You meet brothers, you meet so many brothers and sisters every day, subhanallah. And you become close, your heart is softened. This is what we need to achieve, my brothers and sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. May Allah make us from those who can learn a lesson. I fear, and I always fear, the verse where Allah says, If you are going to turn away from obeying Allah's instruction, He will replace you with others who will not be like that. They will not be like you. I don't want to be replaced. I don't want to be replaced. I refuse to be replaced. I will worship Allah willingly, willing obedience. And I'm sure the same feeling you have. So let's do something about it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this day a day of change in our lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this day a day of turning, a day of taking the salah more seriously from today.